Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this lovely Wednesday afternoon. I can't say lovely because it's wet and miserable. But regardless of that, it is Wednesday and Wednesday means anything goes. So I've got a cool little few tips and tricks up my sleeve for you today. Keep you all out of bother, hopefully. Welcome to the channel, everyone. My name is Tony Darrick and this is the How to Craft Network studio. Fabulous place to come and say hello, have some fun, learn new tips, techniques, or maybe enhance your crafting in some way or another. We have a beautiful family that join me every single day. If you are watching for the first time, don't forget to click that subscribe button. There is a like button and there is also a share button. If you want to share the show, please do so. Uh, it gives us a wider reach. Now, it feels like I haven't been on for ages and just done like literally a show or had a little bit of fun. However, let's just have a quick recap on week past. So you will all know we do Studio 3, which is later in the evening. So for those people that can't watch the live shows, maybe you're able to watch the Studio 3 shows where we do predominantly paper craft. But I am going to start chopping it up and doing some freehand paintings break it all down as I do with the mini albums and do some painting just just like a daisy head and things like that just to use what you've got in your stash now we are a family company and you all buy which is amazing but we do not expect you to buy okay I get time out to come here and play and you like to join me as well so it's about the experience and it's about sharing the love of craft as well so week coming so much to go at so have you all got your cup of tea or a cup of coffee so this week's a jam-packed week so you've got me today for anything goes then tomorrow at eight o'clock tomorrow night Teresa Collins is here not physically here obviously she lives in the USA but she is here tomorrow at eight and she's going to be doing some demos as well on zoom so come and say hello come and say hello to the fabulous Teresa because she takes time out of a busy schedule to do that for us and she's now part of the Stamps by Me family which is awesome and then on Friday we are celebrating over 1 million views on our YouTube channel I've got a show lined up for you a show and a half I can't wait to show you I've got a brand new launch we have got some few bits and pieces in there for you and we've got some prize giveaways uh, it's just going to be a lovely hour maybe even probably longer. So one o'clock Friday, we're celebrating over 1 million views. And then on Sunday, I'm live on Create and Craft at 6 p.m. with a launch on there as well, a different launch. Um, so make sure you tune in for that. Come and say hello. So we've got a busy week ahead. Thankfully, Tim and Tom are coming with me on Sunday to help me out because it's, you know, it's a long old drive, five hours there and back. And the motorways are always closed. So if you are wanting to know exactly um, what our schedule is, I have just told you there, but equally, if you want to go and check out our TV schedule on our page, times, dates, people, what's happening, um, and then you can obviously watch the shows at your own leisure if you are at work or you miss the shows or you can't, uh, the Studio 3s are too late in the evening for you. Now, if you are watching on our website live, below are the products I'm going to be using today. I have had a couple of messages about one product and I'm going to show you that. So we're going to work with that one today but as always hopefully if you don't have the product you might have it in your stash to play with but i have some great news for you we are going to be sending stamp three of our create together club soon yay um so you've got all that to look forward to but i have a question and i need your help okay so can you all remember let's just quick shout out quick shout out hi shirley hi charlotte hi elaine hi Kay, marilyn joanne amanda Bridget, um, gosh, so many platforms. Facebook, we have Jan, Mary, Joanne, Stephanie. Lovely to see you all. And Shirley, hi, sweetheart, I hope you're well. Lovely to see you all. Let's get straight into it, though. So a quick question. Now, probably most of you that tune in on our shows um, know about the Create Together Club. If you don't know about it, why don't you? We have nearly a 1,000 members in our Create Together Club um so if you want to join you can join at any point but my question to the ladies and gents that are already involved and ready for the next um rendition of our create together club um so you all know price of everything's going up and postage and everything's just going crazy so to try and sustain what we've done last time and not put the price up if i put now be honest be honest if i put all three of the month's worth in one envelope, all wrapped individually and not open until and then the date, 
would you cheat? Because if I send it out in one postage cost, I'm not going to have to put the price up um, on the postage or anything like that. Fingers crossed. Um, so would you cheat if I did that? Um, would you be able to sit on your hands until it was time to open it? Or is it a bad idea? You'll have to let me know. I'm just trying to get my head around right. So I've three po sets of postage every time I send it out. But if I put it all in one, then I'm going to save those postage costs sending, which is going to mean I don't have to put the price up on um, the stamp and die. Uh, I've just told you what it is now, haven't I? Stamps and dies. <laughs> on the stamps for Create Together Club. Let me know. Yes. Does that mean, yes, you'd cheat or, yes, you'd be able to sit on your hands? Of course I'd cheat. Oh, oh, look, I'm spilling my coffee now. Would you all cheat? No. Let me know. You need to say, yes, I'd cheat or no, I wouldn't. Let me know. No, I, no, I would be good, Caroline. That works for me. It does work for you guys anyway, because honestly, if I can cut the money in other areas and not put it on the, the lovely Create Together Club, because you all love it. Um, then I'm trying to think of ways to do it. So I'm trying to think, is it a good idea? Or would you all just cheat and rip open the envelope and just craft? <laughs> oh. No, I would not cheat. Good idea. Yes, I'd cheat. No, I could sit on my hands. Oh, we've got a varied. I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to pop a poll on our YouTube channel. Would you cheat? Would you not cheat? Click which one after here. I'll go do it after the show because I'm going to miss all of this. No, I won't cheat. I need to get a, I need to get a gauge because if you're going to cheat and use them, it takes away that special sort of a special feeling you get when we launch it here in studio and you get that one week's worth of inspiration. So make sure you pop a comment on the poll. I'll do it after show. I need to gauge. I need to figure you guys out. So today. I've got a couple of things I want to just talk about. So I had two messages about the masking fluid. Can you show us? And this was on Studio 3, actually. But I'm going to show you today in Studio 1 um, how to use it. Because not a lot, a lot of people know how to use it. And it's an absolute must if you love to play with watercolours, OK? So let me just pop it on here. Sorry, Tim, that might help a little bit better. Let's just turn it around. There we go. So it's a lovely precision nib. We've uploaded this on the website. Lots of you have already bought it because I know lots of you have been waiting for it after I did the sneak peek. But a lot of you don't understand it. So basically, it's sort of like a repositional glue that stays put when you pop it on your paper. Then you can do all of your watercolour techniques and then you just rub it away and then whatever cardstock is underneath reappears. So if you want to create stars on your artwork and you want to do a watercolour wash, then you rub away the star and you'll have the star. And you can paint it back in in gold if you want to, things like that. Dots for snow. Um, then you've got trees. And if you want to put snow on the trees, you just put the masking fluid where you would have a snow drop on the trees. Paint your tree green. And then you rub away the masking fluid and you have white. So you can just enhance it with a touch of grey and make it look like snows on your trees and things like that. I am going to show you. So don't worry about it, OK? Put them away and not cheat, OK? OK? I'll do a poll after show. So let me just show you. So I just popped a little bit here, look, on this piece of cardstock. Now, I don't know if you can see it. It dries like a creamy colour. Now, some great points, and I've... You can see it there. There we go. So it's like... Uh, it looks like you've got a little bit of custard on your card. <laughs> but equally, it's, it's brilliant. Now, two things I've mastered with this. One, the precision tip, so you can do detailed work. But secondly, as well, it rubs off easily. I've had masking fluids, and I've got a lot, because I just collect anything to do with painting, um, that you rub away, and it takes the cardstock underneath away with it. Now, this is so easy to, re to remove. Let me just show you. So I've popped that on then. It takes about two minutes to dry. I have got one drying off here, which I did before coming to air. It's just drying nicely. And this one is dry, though. I did this um, earlier. So you just give it a rub with your finger. And can you see it's all off, okay? So it's just it just masks what's underneath, okay? Super, super easy. Now, if you're wanting to paint stars on black card and things like that with a wash around, it's a great, great piece of kit. Now, I'll show you how it works. So let's just grab this piece of card here. So I'm going to do some snow. Let's do some snow. So I'll give it a good old shake. And then you'll see it's got this precision tip on the end. Absolutely a must. There we go. Absolutely a must. You just need a precision tip. Now, you find a lot with the big hole in the top, you put your paintbrush in, but then your paintbrush dries with the glue on, and it's just a pain. And um, Tina says she'd be good. Send together is fine, Pauline says. Okay. 
<laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some dots. Now, if you get an air bubble, don't worry about it. Just leave it. It'll settle. So I'm just going to pop some random dots all over this piece. You can see them there. Just random all over. I'm going to do some big ones and some small ones. And we're going to paint today, ladies and gents. So a bit of painting for you. So just random. So it's pure white when you pop it on, but when it dries, it goes like a creamy colour, okay? So if you like to do your masking techniques and things like that, you're going to absolutely love this. Now, if you like to paint flowers and you need a white space on your flowers or the detail in the centre, you don't want to paint over, cover it with your mask, stamp your design, cover it with your masking fluid and then do your paint work and then rub off the masking fluid and then it'll reveal what's underneath. And then in that area, you can either add a highlight, you can leave it as is because you'll get instant light and shade. So it is what it is. I'm not going to do too much on here because my cardstock will look like dotty cardstock, but I'm trying to do the effect of snow and you can see it on there. It does have a little odour. It smells like, smells like glue, but it's faint, but it does have a little odour. So it's white when you pop it on and it goes to a creamy colour when it's dry, okay? So you can see that there, can you see that there? Super, there we go. So I'm just going to set that aside. Now, if I waft, it'll probably dry quicker, but I'm going to set it to one side. So it takes a couple of minutes. So here I have one where I've drawn some stars. Can we see here? I don't know. I've drawn like some stars. Freehand. Now, because it's not a pencil or a pen, you're never going to get a precise design. Just remember that, OK? There we go. You can see it there. I've got a big lump in the middle. Um, so it's very forgiving, OK? So don't put yourself under pressure to sort of get it perfect. So I just did some stars and some spots on that one. And I'm going to use some watercolours to cover it. And I'll show you exactly how it works when I come to remove it. So I'm just going to use my fan pan I have here now. My fan pan is green. You've all seen me do this time and time again. Now, my other ones are in my craft bag. However, we do have some white ones I've just loaded onto the website. So if you have been waiting for the fan pan and you've clicked that notify me, check your email, it will be there, OK? So the white one is back in stock and the $14.99, so inexpensive. So you'll be able to paint with them. OK, so they're back in stock. Also, very quickly, did you get your hoover? Pick up all that glitter. You can hear it picking it up, actually. OK, it picks up all the glue and all the paper. As you can see, mine's full of paper. And all of the bits and bobs that you have on your table. And it's brilliant because these are high density for getting all the bits off your mats when you do your die cutting as well. I know a lot of you have already bought that. And I think probably the white one has sold out. Right, let's be creative. Now, let's get some colour on this card. Let me just see if it's dry. Is it dry? I don't think it's quite dry enough. I've just got a big blob in the centre there. Give that a second to dry. Let's have a look at these ones. Like domes. So let's get our watercolours and get our brushes. Get ready. So we're going to do a bit of freehand painting, but I am going to do a bit of a wash on the back of these sort of stars. Now, I haven't actually tried this, but I'm going to try and dry it with my gun. See what happens. Push it on a little bit, see if I can see it changing or if it bubbles, I'll let you know and then you know at home whether to let it air dry or do it with your gun. I do think it's dry, but I'm just concerned about that blob in the middle. Shall we dry our spots, our snowy spots too? Jam, the glass mat won't be long. Giddy kipper. Hi, Sue. Hi, Annette. So I'm just trying to push these on so we can get straight on with our technique here. Now you can use your gun. I can see you can use your gun. 
So if you have, say for instance, say for instance you have the cabin in the woods or a silhouette stamp or a Christmas tree stamp and you want to create the effect stole, this is brilliant, okay? So I can't remember the lady's name that asked about this masking fluid saying she's never heard about it, but it was a lady on Studio 3, so hopefully the lady is actually watching. So let's create some colour on the back of here. I think it's, um, yeah, it's good. Right. Let's get some colours on the back. So, well, as you can, can you probably see the stars now as I paint this on? Can we see that there? I'll try and make it as dark as I can so you can see it. So you can see my freehand stars, get some more on there. Yes, um, the small Eureka has just been ordered. So if you click, make sure you click that notify me button. Can you see? Can you see my stars, my freehand stars? I'm just going to give this a spray with some water. I want it to look a bit magical if I have it. Let's get it a bit darker. Come on, get some colour mixed up, Tony. Now, I always say, don't I? See your artwork through, get some colour down. like a horrid mess but when we chop it down you can see I've got the spots in there too so it takes a couple of minutes just let I would probably just let it air dry yourself don't blast it off with your gun although you can you've just seen me do it I need a little bit of yellow in here as well get some um Hi, Tony. Hello, Tony Mins. Welcome to the channel, sweetheart. Tony with an eye. Best way, hey? <laughs> so I'll just push this colour around a little bit. Not too much. I don't want my yellow to go green. Masking fluid is an absolute must, particularly for your techniques. So I'm just drying this off really quickly. And then on the other one, we're going to paint. inquiry on your account sweetheart if you pop a little inquiry or have you already done that if you, if you go to your account you can pop a little message to the girls and saying saying i'm querying my order i ordered it and i've had nothing come through the, it comes through to the girls and then the girls will either reply to your little message or possibly ring you if there is a problem go into the actual order into the account because you probably have several okay and pop, pop in a little message in there so you can see here now that it's dry. I think it's dry. Better make sure it's absolutely dry before I try and rub away. Put 
so it's like a Christmas card. Well, now you say that, girls. Now you say that. Do you know why? I thought I'd do these stars, because guess who's been finishing up on Christmas today? Yeah, Christmas has been getting finalised today. So I think Christmas launches on the 28th of June, somewhere around there. So we have it all. We have Christmas. Can I say? Christmas lamination. Getting in trouble now. Christmas lamination. Christmas washi. Nobody does washi like us, though, do the guys. Christmas washi. I'm not telling you anything else. I told you too much already. Let me have a look at this now. Is this... Just needs a minute or two, that one. So let's cut this one down. So I, this is why I said to you about, um, you know, when you do a painting, it looks awful, doesn't it? I mean, come on, that looks shockingly bad. I'm not scared to admit it. But when we trim it down... Let's get my trimmer. Which trimmer am I using? This one. I'm going to take away all of the ugly excess. Christmas. Sure. Who's, who's in mood for Christmas? Gosh. Could you imagine? Although we have been getting in the swing of it today. Christmas wash it, yes, we have. We have a cute new fam member for the washi tape family. So to go with Romeo, Henry, Edith, we've got a new fella or female, if you want to call her that. And then we've got a gorgeous stag. We've never done a stag, I don't think, properly, like Stamps by Me stag. Okay, so for that lady, Anne, we're going to cut to the website for you and we're going to show you how to log uh, your message. Okay, so this is for anybody who's watching as well. So if you've ever got a message and you feel like every website tells you to email and you don't get a response, this is really, really quick, okay? So all you need to do is log into your account on our website as you would normally, as if you were going to make an order. Okay, and then you will have your orders. It shows you all of your points. It shows you whether you're a hobbyist or whatever that may be. Then click into the order you've got an issue with or you want to talk about. Click into it and it'll come up like so. And then it says, send message to support. Type your message in there. So, hey, you know, I ordered this on X date. Can you tell me if it's been dispatched um, or I've received my item and I've got a problem or something's missing or I'm not sure if I've received somebody else's order. You know, the general inquiries that actually happen. And then all you need to do is click send support message. That gets logged on to that order. It goes straight through to the girls and the girls will pop a response in there for you, whether it's, hey, I'm looking into it or, um, yeah, I can see the tracking number. I'll get back to you. And all you need to do is keep an eye on that and then hopefully the issue or the problem will be resolved quite quickly because you're coming straight to the girls, okay? So if you have any problems, that's the best way to do it. So Emma's been colouring Christmas. I know Emma's got a fantastic Christmas collection for you all as well. So let's just have a look at this now. So when you come to rub it away, and we see, well, it's, it's actually quite therapeutic. When you come to rub it away, can we see Use your finger, and it's a, such an easy one to rub away too, okay? So easy. Look at this. I'll get rid of all of my... Can we see? Satisfying, actually. Don't be just doing it just because you like the satisfying of the rubbing away. Then I have my quick design underneath. Check that out. Totally smooth. I've got my white card stuck underneath. Now, a cool technique when you've got the white underneath like that is, let me just show you. So, you know how sometimes if you didn't mask off, you would have the colour underneath. But because we've got the white on there, if I now, just one second, get my, if it's not in my TV craft bag, which it does look like it is, but I'm still going to have a quick route because I think it's very worth the effort. Maybe not. I have it all going on in this trolley. 
we'll go with this one so with your stickles glue okay you have the lovely white ones don't you that have the colored sort of transparent that comes through now use your stickles glue your clear ones on your artwork and the white comes through so it's just a great technique to get a transparent sort of cross a star whatever it may be and then when you come to let me just show you very quickly i hope this is helping the lady i really hope that lady is watching actually <laughs> so when you come to pop it on a black card look at this how it pops from the page so i've got the gold one here i'm going to do it have a look and then all you do is pop it in and you'll get the white come through when it dries i'm just going to freehand very quickly because i i didn't take my time coloring this i have to be honest i just quickly did it to show you that you can paint stars and things into the sky but because you have that whiteness underneath it shows through so it comes through beautifully Now, this stickles takes a while to dry, which is super annoying, as much as I love it. But let me show you this on the white. And then let me show you down here on one that's not white. You can't look at that, you can't hardly see it. But because we've masked off the white and the white comes through, I mean, I'm doing it in gold here, but with the transparent ones, it looks incredible. Hopefully you'll be able to see this back. It looks okay. Right, let's do some painting. So you get the idea with how it works and things like that. Can you use it over paint or ink images? Of course you can. So I just used it straight onto the cardstock, but if you want to do a full like painting of a pink, and then you use the masking fluid and then you want to do a full paint over with blue when you remove the masking fluid the pink will be underneath does that make sense i hope that makes sense hopefully right so i'm going to make a proper card this time with our snow let's hope yeah this is fine so i'm going to get some color down on this one and we're going to do a silhouette because i love to paint silhouettes as you all know so let's get some color down on this one so this is where you can do a sort of aurora borealis sky, whatever you want to really, there's simply no rules. And let's get another colour. No, oh, I might put a touch of red in. I know, I know you're all probably thinking what on earth. So I'll always see projects through. I'm using a flat brush here, okay? Oops, I like it to be quite bright. Let's go for a sunsetty sky. So at the end of the day, you can see I'm literally just getting that paint down. I'm not being careful about it. I'm not being precious about it. I'm getting some colour onto a piece of cardstock. And the rest will look after itself, okay? So just get the colour down, get messy with it. And then when you think you're happy, I think I'm going to stop there because that looks quite moody. Let's get a bit more red in here. I'm just angling my flat brush here. A bit more red in there. Could do a bit of orange maybe. Trust me, when this is on the card, 
you're all going to be like, well, I never. Oh, let's have a look. We've got a question, Karen. Will the stamp tall? Will the stamp tall stamp and die be here soon? Yes, darling, this week. If you click that notify button, you will be notified. So as you can see, I'm just absolutely getting that colour down. I'm going to leave it. Stop playing. Let's try it off. Let's clean our desk first. That's the favourite way of using it. Let's try this off. Artwork completely dry. Now, this is where your sort of silhouette stamps come to their own. So, if you've got any silhouette stamps, maybe mine, anybody's really. I know there's a lot of. Comp I'm actually designing some more sil sil silhouette stamps as we speak. I just love silhouette, as you all know. Um, but I'm not scared to paint it either myself, which is nice. But if you do have like silhouette stamps in your stash, that these, this sort of technique with a masking. It looks so cool. So have the courage to have a go. Right, so let's get this pin down onto our mat here. What are we going to do? Does anybody know what we're going to do? <laughs> right, let's get some brushes. What colour brush? Let's get a small one. Let's get some paint in here. Some black. So here we're going to paint like something coming in, shall we? Super easy. So a bit of black here. So you can see I've got all my masking, which looks like snow. It looks like it could be anything. Hail, hailstone, um, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to put, put black ink on my brush. I'm just going to bring it out and then I'm just going to press it down. And start to paint in some detail. Nothing fancy here, guys. Now, if I hit one of those blobs, it's obviously going to disappear, isn't it? But it's going to look like snow's in front of my design, isn't it? So I'm not precious about it. I've done this several times before. You're all quite good at it now. You're all quite good at leaves now. I'm just going to get a lay down first and then we'll add. Um, I'll make it a little bit darker in a second. So for anybody who's probably wondering, you know, how do we do a leaf? I have done lots and lots of Sunday morning videos with Lots of people showing you how to do leaves and things like that. So go back and watch those. And you can see from the thumbnail what it is I've painted as well. So you see that there? I caught that white masking fluid. But it's fine because it's going to look like snow. Um... It looks like it's got chicken pox at the moment, doesn't it? But 
but we're okay with it. <laughs> I'm just going down one side here. So let's just make it a little bit darker in some of the areas where it's not so as dark as I'd like. Go over. I quite like these ones are like second generation, so I'm not going to, I'm just going to one on top of the other. Now you've all gone quiet now, which is normally a sign as you're all thinking, oh. So whilst it's like that, and because I've got my masking fluid on, I'm just going to add some splats in black. Maybe make this a little bit darker. And then, I'm going to add some gold splats. Now, I haven't removed that masking tape. Not masking tape, masking fluid. I'm not going to remove it until the end, so we'll get some gold splatters on here too. It will literally maybe look like it's snowing in the background of this card. Let's just try it off and see where we're at so far. Not splat, not sun. Ah, ah, ah. Patricia strictly loves this technique, me too. Getting giddy, I just knocked one off. You have to make sure your painting's absolutely dry though, because when you come to rub it off with your finger, if your painting's not dry, you're going to spread your painting. So make sure your painting's dry, okay? Wouldn't be a Tony without a splat, exactly. I think we're good there. Try and rub it off a little bit. I think we're good. I'm going to try and not. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. I can't tell you. You see how we've got the white marks? Oh, that bit of gold wasn't dry. That's where my sentiment's going to go then, is it? <laughs> You could do bubbles, so then you do a full circle, do the outline of bubbles coming up from a drink. Hang on then. <laughs> Another cool technique, I guess, for that. You see that there? Now I need some more splats on here because the white is so white, it's so stark. And I need to add some more. So I'm going to just take the gold. And what this is going to do is, is it's going to push those white ones back. So you know those words that you all loved where they had like um, the two parts where, oh gosh, how old and things like that with the two part element to it. What you all absolutely loved. We've done some Christmas ones of those. So I'm doing some red as well. This is going to be quite an abstract card actually. Um, 
We've done some Christmas versions of those as well, so they're going to be totally cool. Now, you could go on with your white gouache and add the white splash, but I really don't need it because it actually looks like it's got chicken pox. There's that many on there. But it was just an example to show you that when you just do the spots, I wouldn't probably have put as many spots as that on, but to show you to just get that lay down of that masking fluid wherever you want it. So if you're masking off the centre of a flower, the tree tips for snow, whatever it may be, do your masterpiece and then just take away the masking fluid when it's done. So let me just dry this off. And what we'll do is we'll add a highlight with our white gel pen. Got a lovely shine in there too. Stephanie, question, question. Am I right in thinking new confetti ink colours coming soon? Have I told you that? Because that's a bit weird. Have I told you that, Stephanie? I've already told you. I'm being given the nod. I like thinking, how does she know? Yes, there's new ones coming. So I'm just going to use the white gel pen and I'm just going to add some highlights to our wing, wings, to our leaves. Now, don't worry if you pop it on and you don't quite like it because it always dries back much, much lighter anyway. Okay? So you can add a hat. You can sort of got, let's just go around the whole thing here. So you can outline the whole thing if you want to. In fact, because I've done one, I'm going to have to do them all now, aren't I? Right, so, right, let's get this on a card so you can see why I always say see a card through to the end. Lots of glue on because it has got a big hump in it. Good old Eureka. And then let me just see if I've got a sentiment to hand. I normally have a pot of goodies, don't I? I've got my rub-ons, but not good enough. I really need an, oh gosh, how old for this one, don't I? Love this. That looks good now. Yep, always see it through to the end. It's a piece of card, isn't it? Ten minutes of your time. Let's grab another piece of card, make sure to get it flat. Oh, I wish I had a sentiment, but anyway, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. In fact, just one second, have a, just one second. Oh, this might be a sneaky peek. What's going on? No, I'm being... Never mind, it's fine. I'll pop a nice sentiment on it for when, we, um, when I pop the picture on the thumbnail for you. if it was straight I'll have to trim that down but there we go I will trim it down let me just trim it down make it look straight Tony because I've stuck it wonky I'm gonna have to cut it wonky
talk about recovering a card. Hey, okay. I'm gonna put a, gonna put a gold sparkly one on here with some sequins. Wait till you see it thumbnail. I'll hold it up though, regardless. So, just to show you that masking fluid, because I had so many two people actually messaged me, which is quite a lot really to ask about a product. Um, asking how it works. Well, that's how it works. Now, I wouldn't do spots as big as this. I would have taken my time and I would have added the detail to the trees, but it's just to show you that when you spot it onto some card, it's protected. It's totally protected, whatever you're doing with it, okay? So you can rub it off trees. You can create stars, splatter effects. If you are wanting to do sun rays from a sunshine and things like that, you can do the lines of the sunshine and do that. I'm going to put a sentiment across the base there. Probably, might actually might put it there because it's a bit blobby with all those white spaces. But I'll, I'll deal with it and you watch. I might even add some sparkle. So there we go. Super, super easy. So that's how masking fluid is used. If you think you'll use it, you know where to buy it now. But if you don't, don't worry about it. It's not a need. But if you like the techniques that you can do with it, because there is a lot, then you can buy from Camps by Me. Let's have a look. Been chucking it down for a couple of hours. I know, it's pants, isn't it? No, same here. But anyway, whatever you're doing, have a lovely afternoon. Don't forget to check out our TV schedule. We've got lots on there for you. And we're celebrating one over one million views on Friday. Visa Collins Thursday as well, 8 p.m. So lots to go out there. So whatever you're doing, have a great day. And I'll catch you all later. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you later. Bye.